Hi, Steve Ledden with our friend Devin Ruddick here, and we're introducing the OpMod Tactical Backpack. This tactical backpack, very reasonably priced, top quality backpack, two very, very comfortable straps, removable chest strap, waist belt, and it is removable. This is my normal daily bag. I don't keep my waist strap on uh, during the day. This is the camouflage version that I use. But Devin just came back from Ely, Minnesota on a dog sled trip and he used the black version. Dev, how'd you use it? I did. Uh, yeah, like uh, Steve said, you know, we're up in Ely, Minnesota. Uh, this was a six day dog sledding camping trip. So we were out and elements really, uh, really roughing it. And overall, like a really great trip. But this bag really made the trip uh, fantastic because I used this as my day pack. We put basically everything that we needed for the, you know, for, for the day. I had. Um, uh, my first aid kit, I had uh, my goggles, I had uh, you know extra pair of gloves, a lot of stuff like that in here and I really found it to be incredibly useful for just you know my, my main my main pack that I need to get at it all the time and as such what we did was um, and you'll see some some of these pictures we uh, actually mounted it um, on the top of the sled so it was easy act accessible like while when I was standing on the back and mushing the dogs. The way we did that actually is we utilized the straps on the side here, which you know in normal uses are used to sort of compress the bag to keep items inside from shifting around. Right. But what we used it for is is I attached this directly to the top of the of dog sled with these straps, and it kept it in place, held it really securely. The uh, sled flipped on us once and dragged for about 20 feet and uh, bounced off trees and stuff like that, and the bag held up excellent. And on a couple of the pictures I saw, you had your nail jean bottle over here. Yep. You had an extra uh, uh, extra bottle on the other mm -hmm. side, so. This, uh, the pal straps are really quite useful. You Absolutely. Can, you can hang whatever yeah. you want in there. In fact, we had a lot of, uh, we have um, um, some of the harness uh, material for the dogs, like, uh, or the harness gear, I should say, uh, like the neck harnesses and stuff like that to keep them in line. Um, when, we're, when we're, you know, tying all the dogs up to the sled, uh, we have to have that stuff hanging off of us. So I found it was really good to just clip all that stuff on the mollies out here. And then if anything needed to be replaced or changed, it was right there. And I really like the, compartment, uh, the compartments in these two. Kept my, uh, I had a pair of uh, uh, ski goggles uh, for the wind that fit awesome back here. A pair of tactical goggles would fit perfectly back here too. The side bags, I had uh, my, my headlamp, um, some duct tape. You always need duct tape when uh, you're on a camping trip. And all my electronics, I had, uh, you let me borrow one of those night vision units. Right. Monocular, I had that back here, which was really, really fun to use in the night. Um, and even inside, if you look inside here, um, there's a small compartment here with a zip away, and I kept my first aid stuff right in here. It was it was really accessible. I actually needed to get it a couple times. Uh, kept the stuff right in there. So another like, nice compartment in the back where you were mentioning you put your uh, camel uh, your hydration pack or whatever. But uh, overall, you know, it was a uh, it was a really nice pack and fairly yeah. water resistant. Oh, absolutely. We uh, you know it got it definitely got wet during the day, uh -huh. and then at night it froze, and then in the morning. You can just kind of tap it. It all fell, you know. It all fell apart. Nothing inside got wet. And we did a little bit of light hi light hiking. When, and I did get to use the the waist strap and the uh, the, you know, the strap up here as well. It just it worked great. So you made it back in one piece, and your bag was still okay after a bunch of uh, cold weather abuse. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know if any dogs peed on it or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we did. Uh, one of our dogs actually oh, did, yeah. did, did pee on it because he, I guess he wanted to keep it for himself. <laughs> well, that's not going back into stock, is it? Uh, no, I think okay. that's that's a demo right. now that I'm going to keep. All right. So from the back of a Jeep in Chicago to the top of a dog sled in Ely, Minnesota, the OpMod Tactical Backpack comes through with flying colors. Absolutely.